Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. Where I'm trying to survive in legendary Iron Man land with 90 plus mods that make it just so, so much more difficult. And it is time to test whether that hypothesis is also true in the Assassin's Stronghold. We are fighting against uh, mutants, mainly mutants, a lot of mutants lately but also other hardcore enemies, sectopod uh, hunters, and so on and so forth. That's going to be interesting. I'm already looking forward for it. In order to kick it off, we got the prime team assembled. Look at that, Grell here with a nice little uh, gimmick. We got the, uh, we got, uh, the skull check so that we can maybe progress the uh, golden path mission. This is a non-timed mission, so it's a perfect chance actually to do it. Got Sonar here with the nice uh, tail and rounds that uh, make the shotgun a living hell. We got a deployable turret for later, Dilly G with some, uh, with, uh, some blue screen rounds. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, should we maybe, since there was a sector port hunter, are there other, are there other um, mechanical units? Mutant Prime, Purge, Vanguard, Berserker, Elite Strike, Elite Officer. Collector Drone is one mechanical, um, Sector Port Hunter, second one, Hunter Drone, third one, oh, that's pretty much it, so not that many, not that many, I think we should be fine, Dilly can handle it with just the blue screen rounds himself, he has Fanfire and is now carrying the weapon of the Warlock the Dark Lance and the Dark Claw, which should be coming in handy. Super good weapons and with Death from above, he should also be dishing out quite a bit of damage. So join me today when we are hopefully curb stomping the Assassin and grabbing our second weapon. We need, the, we need those OP weapons in the end game, elsewise there is no way that we are going to live any longer. Alright, here we go guys, here we go. Okay, great, let's go. So, what are we dealing with? So, north here seems to be the way to go. We do have a Reaper. I was born in the shadows. Yep, you were born in the shadows, my dude. I am on the move. Their clumsy butthole is moving. Hmm. Let's take these things out. Okay, so that is a bit tricky. I think what we will do is we'll just close it for now. As you order, Commander. Move over. Sniper moves forward. Getting it done. Sonar moves forward. Boiler moves move, forward. Move, move. I'll go quickly. Got it. Now. Okay, so far so good. I am thinking about a kill stone overwatch pull. But assuming that they are at a similar uh, at a similar uh, space. From here, we would be able to kill zone them quite nicely. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Good. Just trying to get everyone in position, really. Running. Overwatch. 
Good. One more turn and then we're opening. Well, don't kill that guy. We need him. Okay, well. That is a very interesting side ambush. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, we want to be preservative with uh, our resources. And that specifically means let's not go overboard. Lightning Hands, that would be 8 points of damage. If the Reaper gets it down, that would also be 8 points of damage. Okay, cool. So the Claymore will deal the same amount. Here we go. That counteracts the Overwatch. Oh, nice. So I think this is a perfect situation for a serial. One, two, three, four. Okay. Pen fire to soften up this guy back here. Or just simply kill him into cereal we need focus on hogbite and let's also injure the other uh, the face um, the face one yep can't fully reach that officer let's think about how we can how we might be able to get him to stay down i don't want to kill him that's the point not yet i, I do have an idea sonar moves over And look, that would be at least uh, 10 to 12. What's the extra crit damage? We would be looking at 17 points of damage, potentially not enough. So rapid fire it is. All right, it was enough. Unfortunately, rapid fire is now on cooldown. Mm. Good. We could, we could be the guinea pig, so that the officer just takes shots at us. Moving a bit further to the back, mainly because I don't want any grenades to be thrown good 
good we definitely got a lot of kill potential here Moving in with Grell. And look, this should be easy. Just shoot him, right? Moving into full cover. Anchor down. Parry, we can pick up the rest next turn. And for now, just overwatch, really. Okay. Untouchable. That is so stupid. He's just doing that in order to not get skull jacked. He's literally doing whatever it takes not to get skull jacked. I had counseled the elders to show patience with your rage. Yet here you now ah. My brothers were correct. You are unworthy of his system. I still want to school check him. That's our chance. Disorientation removed. You weren't you weren't calculating with the power of friendship, my dude. There you go. Alright, let's get some extra intel. Superior agility, that is fantastic. Advanced laser sight is also good. And we're looking at a codex. Hello. That appears to be the codex responsible for safeguarding the alien data store. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. Look, normally you would be fussed about about uh, Codex. Not so much this time. Okay, so far so good. Hogbite is ready and loaded. We can soon open the door here with kill zone. How long is serial? Four turns. I'm almost contemplating whether we just wait that time because serial is a nice cleanup fun uh, function and we do not have death from above available if we're positioned on low ground and apparently we're being spotted out Apparently, we're being spotted out. Alright, two towers. We've unfortunately lost our only option uh, to, to deal... At, um, or to scout our 
Reaper now effectively is a combat unit. One that can shred and deal some damage and has banish later, but still, huge blow for us. Sucks. Sucks big times. Alright, listen. We got a remote start here, which should come in handy. <clears throat> we'll cover is a decent spot, so it should be okay. Just thinking about moving over here. All right, forgot about close combat shooter. Taking a little bit too much damage here. Okay, we unfortunately do not yet have a rapid shot. Got a striker here. Yeah, I think that's the right call. Good implacable we could we could run in if needed. Okay, well, not good enough damage wise. That might solve the problem with the mutant. Good, Cannon, very nicely. I should have moved Cannon here, but then again, I think Hogbite needs to tank the Berserker. Leaves us with that one warrior. Good, Hogbutt has full cover and parries. Okay, good. In which case, let's just focus the Berserk. Not likely not going to die. Good, already used two healing kits, which is a bit more that, uh, than I'm comfortable with. The Reaper really sucks up a lot of healing.
Very good. Hogbite is firmly protected. Yeah, he could have reflected and deflected these shots. Not a problem for us. Let's remove uh, the overwatch and shred the tower a bit. Perfect, that worked well. Dilly G moves up. Can almost kill the tower. Very nice. Very nice. So implacable. I tell you what, we're going in and we're hitting the tower. And I think we've just pulled another pack. Yep, without a shadow of a doubt, we pulled another pack. Not only one, not only two, we pulled three additional packs. Great, cool. Well, I know how we can protect ourselves, but that will not be easy. Hogbed gets an aid protocol. Can we hit the tower? No, we cannot. We can only snipe it down, which we shall do. I got it, right? Next turn, serialist backup, right? No, two more turns, almost. Good, Sona moves out, uh, we are I was about to say closing the door, but the door is no longer here. Ooh. Are we going to be greedy? Well, considering the circumstances, might as well. Ah, uh, that's not killing him. That is unfortunate, not killing him. Okay, that was a bit of a wasted uh, opportunity here. Could have used that extra turn to set up a kill zone. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Hogbite is moving out of line of sight. And most of them have tactical analysis, so they only get one turn anyways. Which means whoever is in the dark, like all of them, won't be able to reach us. But the Assassin and the Lancer will.
Okay, so far so good. Oh wow, that is a sick remote start, I like it. Can't really throw in far enough. What I can do though is I could run and gun and uh, pick some of these guys off. Luckily we're not triggering Overwatch. Shredding that mini sector pot. Good job. This here will trigger one overboard shot. No aid protocol. Well, it is what it is, right? Right. It is clear. Okay, cool. At least that worked out well. Nice. How many points of damage? 11 at, at minimum. Cool. Good time for Euler to clean up this mess. We brought it upon ourselves and we shall um, hopefully remediate it. Oh, that's a good one. move back or just stand there we'll decide later or now well it's not an instant kill but that here is going to be a kill eight eleven that's another kill Can we move in such that we could see someone? Well, we would need to double move. There's no remote start back there. Okay, so full cover it is. Try to set these guys up. That would be two additional kills. Alternatively, 
We're just setting this guy up and saving. Okay, so what else? Could hit that elite Lancer. Can we even hit the Lancer? So Assassin. And a few bel Belurius, okay. I tell you what, we're moving up. Because back here we can really not do much. And let's get that assassin out of the way. Five. Uh, rupture shot deals critical damage and ensures that the target takes increased damage from all attacks. That actually should be a kill. Let's try it. Okay, that worked like indicated. Not sure, the rocket should definitely kill it. Okay. It's the opposite of... We shouldn't use resources, but then again, it was three packs. And I think, considering the circumstances that we have dealt with three packs, it was a reasonable result. Oh, but will tank. Not a single reflect or a deflect. Okay, so. Okay, so I got one. Moving on, right? Right. Hunter drone. It's not a not an insured kill yet. Grell moves up. Time to soften this guy up. Very good. That is now the 100% kill I was hoping for.
We're moving in. Reload. Serial. Kill that drone. Reset. Good, we're parrying and let's just soften up the mutant. Okay, could I have played that better overall? I could have been more careful. That is, that goes kind of without saying. Was it fun after pulling all of them? Absolutely. Was it a good knock? Yes, it certainly was. Was the recovery on point? Yeah. All things considered, it actually went relatively well. Sonar moves up, looks at him, shotgun to the face. And implacable. Cool. Well, I tell you what, buddy, that was a good, a good knock. Unfortunately, it very much comes at the expense of healing resources. We still got a good restoration for everyone. But we have taken quite a bit of damage. This is the final room, by the way. We have taken quite a bit of damage. So. I think we're leaving him with 13. That one gremlin heal can be used a bit later. He has sustenance, so push comes to shove he wouldn't die there are still aliens somewhere around I would guess in the final room And look, I think it's fair to say that for now we actually have a solid position. We just need everybody here to regain their cooldowns. So all things considered, we had uh, wasted three med kits. Uh, still a couple of hit points down. One claymore mine, one rocket. One claymore mine, one rocket. And I think that is it. We haven't had a lot of extra resources that we used. Okay, next turn we can give it a go. This here is the normal, the normal uh, uh, pylon. So let's see, is that tr triggering anything? Energy signature directly ahead. 
Oh yeah, and we use two times teamwork. Uh, those are of course also resources. On the other hand, we even did the Codex, so the mission is going quite well. And I've had worse uh, timings to and, and worse uh, equipment to go and kill the Chosen, so we should be fine. The Assassin, of course, unfortunately always costs a bit of medication unless you spot her out right away. But we got a group heal and a single heal. So as long as that stays in uh, in good order, we should be fine. We should be able to get her down in one turn. We just need to spot her out and then it's multi-shot time and just getting her down really. Good, and we are in the final room. Let's go. Need to take a short break in between. It is one without high ground because the chosen really doesn't like the high ground. They she re she rather prefers to be met on the low ground. That's okay. That's all right. I hope it's worth it. Cannon moves up. Oh wow, what an ugly but equally interesting creature you are, Mutant Prowler. More like Mutant Howler after I'm done with you. There we go. All right, Dilly G moves in, and we're going to take some serial, ser uh, serious zero. Good, quick draw, and that collector drone unfortunately needs to find an untimely end. Gotta be a bit careful. I don't know if picking this up here will trigger. I know the the half halfway line here is still fine. So of course we want to get as close as possible without triggering. And if possible, really get our cooldowns back before we're engaging with the Chosen. I know for a fact that that year did not trigger the last time. Doesn't try a trigger this time either. Got a nice little turret there. My watch begins. Good. I don't think we need an overwatch. Just trying to get a couple of turns. Larium core advance hair trigger. That is great loot. Specifically the core, we can use it. Cool. And since that hasn't triggered, if you say so. might as well All right, begin I'll to move into position. Still two more turns until we're good. I can tell you one more thing. This here should again be a no-brainer. 
Just using that as preparation. Doesn't cost us a turn afterwards. And we now have yet another soldier. I think the moment that we move in here, we pretty much commit to the fight. I, I guess that'll be okay. There we go. Good. The assassin. Begins to spawn, and it is time for us to hunt her down. Good. She hates Reapers. Uh, she's easy to hit from high ground, which really doesn't mean a lot for us. And she's immune to melee, which is really unfortunate. Good, this may scout her out if she's anywhere near here. There we go. Let's start to shred her. And since she hates Reapers... Did I just break the game? Oh, come on, game. I merely unloaded like seven shots on her. Can't be that difficult. All right, let me fix this, guys. Good, here we go again. Let's uh, replay the executive move. And banish. Come on. One. Two. Three. It's getting better and better. Four. Five. It's interesting that the one time we're missing, she actually retaliates. Okay, I tell you what, run and gun. And good old shotgun to the face. Mainly because you can't crit uh, the sarcophagus. And we got a hair trigger out of it. Fantastic. By the way, <laughs> we killed her in turn one. Let's see how much damage we can uh, deal to the sarcophagus. Okay, 80 hit points, right? Yeah. Our turret nicely begins to work on it. Templar Ghost, I think, should position themselves here. Uh, just in case someone spawns. Time for some rapid fire. Very good. Sonar is dishing out tons of damage. Literal metric tons. What's over there? Nice. With the upgraded cannons, <clears throat> 12 damage per shot is hilarious. Just out of curiosity, I think we got that. I think we got it and we're not even done yet. <laughs> okay, so. Moral of the story, right? 
assassin spawns. Oh boy, moral of the story, assassin spawns and we're just getting the assassin down in one turn and after that, in, in the same turn that she spawns, we're getting her down and we're basically annihilating the entirety of uh, the sarcophagus right away. Interesting, I thought she was immune to melee. Okay, apparently Blade Storm goes through. I am not like this possible. <laughs> I feel like my equal footing. How exhilarating. I think she's here. For that, you have my gratitude. Yeah, okay, that uh, that was sort of under, uh, understandable. I would have gone there as well if I'd be her. You are wasting your time, Good. Getting a tiny bit closer before then rupturing her. Okay, correction, we immediately kill her. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I even installed the mod that um, that will make the spawns harder because there will be actual packs that spawn in. But that was the absolute one most one-sided domination of a Chosen that I've seen in a while. Comes in, gets curb stomped. We destroy the sarcophagus on top of it. And just for good measure, we insult her. She comes back with 33% uh, of her hit points and it's just one shot and she's gone. Wow. Okay. This should not be representative for the run, but I am saying if you're planning it well, this is harder than legendary. So you can definitely be with the right team do an exact same replica of what you have seen. Move in and just pay them a good visit. Cool, so our aim was on point and so was our performance here. Whilst we were struggling in the first half, it was not as clean as I wish uh, I would have played. The actual chosen fight was uh, working out just like I was hoping it would. Yeah, they they don't like each other. Great. Arashi and the Katana. Also, superior agility 27 dodge. I like that a lot. Alarium core, hair trigger. And we also reduce the avatar project by two. Thanks for killing the codex. Good, really quickly. With the shadow chamber. Since Hogbite wasn't 100% dodging yet. Uh, 44. And then 25 on top of it. His superior agility is already better. So now we're, we're fine. But we could certainly <clears throat> use another superior agility. How about Inquisitor? Because he would take a couple of hits, right? Or Implacable. Huh. I'll find a home for it. <clears throat> it's a good PCS. Good. And that means two Chosen are down. And we got Rashi and the Katana. Impressive work, Commander. The death of this creature and the subsequent recovery of its brain could prove to be a substantial setback for the alien. Very good. So we wanted to continue scanning. Things are looking not too bad. I mean, the enemies will be super, super tough, but I will try to 
kill the other factions before going down which means in a royal rumble we we would have come in second advent is likely going to beat us in this game but um, if we're killing all of the other factions that would be good chrysalid junior uh, juvenile queen corpse we get with the inspiration a few days off so let's do that it's only two days and then the assassin weapons do we have do we have an archon no and i'm still thinking about would we build the laboratory? I think yes. Oh wow, for for the first time. For the first time, we don't have enough uh, engineers. How's that even possible? Well, let's finish the Psy Lab and then we're just shifting the engineer over. The actual laboratory might be helpful for us. Strategic resource located. Cool. Good. More power, that is good. More power also means Stone Age, if it comes through, will not hit us as hard because um, we do have some extra spare power. Psylab, cool. Finally, upgrade. Second chamber needs five extra power. Um, power relay, upgrade. Galerium conduit. Power relay upgraded. Uh, we need supplies. Well, I know just the right uh, place where I could find them. Off to the black market. Avenger plotting new course. And we're potentially selling some Illyrium and Alloys because we have plenty of them and we need supplies. The market is open. In terms of buying, superior scope and superior expanded magazine and superior perception. Holy moly. I need intel and superior speed on top of it. I... Maybe we're getting a data pad uh, uh, decrypted. How many days until the end of the month? Just one second, 13. Oh yeah, we're getting a data pad decrypted. In terms of selling, We have so much on our inventory. Good. Apparently they they like the losts this turn. And I don't know why we do have vintage posters, 8 of 15. We're 100% sure what that means. Well, let's keep it. And I'm selling some alloys. Let me fast forward that. Okay, so we would sell for over 600, which is exactly what I was hoping for. I'll stay here for a second longer. First and foremost, second sell upgrade. Yes, please. And now we can recruit two new recruits and whom are we taking a few of them are new matt ryan fitzgerald those would be new viewers
you know what? Why not? Let's just go with uh, new viewers. So, um, we do have Ryan Fitzgerald. Distinctly remember that you wanted to be added. Then it is between Matt, Vitor, and uh, Kylie. And I would say Matt looks like the type of guy who is psycho enough to become a psy operative. So that's it. Those are our recruitments. If you haven't made it, it doesn't mean that you cannot be recruited in the future. There we go. Operatives. Fitzgerald and Matt. Very good. The lab. Power. We're still quite power hungry. Put upgrade here for another 150. And a bit of Valerium. Is that worth it? Yeah, why not? Let's free that up. I am halfway thinking that we might need to soon invest in more power due to uh, due to that dark event that is happening. So we're down to 200 supplies. In terms of combat tactics, what do we really want? 10% critical hit for sharpshooters. We don't uh, don't have, well, we do have it upgraded for our prime team, but we don't have upgraded snipers yet. I like the ability to uh, to basically crit on overwatches and get an aim. <clears throat> All explosives can inflict critical damage. That's also not bad. And starting with one focus is a huge benefit as well. Difficult to say. I think since our prime team anyways doesn't have that many problems, might as well go with bigger booms because we need explosions and that's actually tying out nicely to what uh, what we need. More damage and critical explosions. Good. As always, we're out of money. I'm wondering, you know what? I actually think now is a good time uh, to... Uh, to sell even more even if that means we are low on uh, on our Elarium we can't upgrade the snipers anyways at the moment so might as well just sell more of the Alois and the Elarium and get more of the benefits just one sec good it's time to cash out 750 <clears throat> reduced it to 60 almost 60 each <clears throat> And uh, that should give us, well, we have almost enough supplies for all of the upgrades. So I definitely want the Templar upgrade. The Sharpshooter upgrade is great. That upgrade is good. And I mean, look, increase hacking by 25%. Security towers cannot see us when it's concealed. That's fine, but it's not kind of urgently needed as of right now. Is there anything else that we wanted to buy, but never dared to do because now would be the right time to talk about that. Weapon upgrades, beam pistol. Yeah, we can do all of uh, that in a, in a bit. I tell you what, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. We upgraded the resistance ring, so that's fine. No upgrade here, no upgrade here. Infirmary, we could get a hyperventilating module. Don't need that. Shadow chamber, can't upgrade yet. Resistance comms is fully upgraded and lab can be upgraded. So we're good for now. We're good. Let's get some more Avenger power, because I'm still concerned about the lack of power. And 
And just before we can even do that, <clears throat> there is a new option to get 104 Intel Dark VIP uh, mission. But that will be a devastating one. Look at the enemies, guys, just for a second. I've already spotted three unknown enemies. So, enemy unknown, Advent Custodian, enemy unknown, Elite Collector Drone, Archon Prime, Perch Commando, Guardian Trooper, Andromedon Prime, Heavy and uh, Anti-Mech, Mutant Decurion, which was nasty, and another enemy. Wow, that's a morbidly difficult mission. Uh, neutralize target in Advent vehicle. Well, wow. I'll think about that. It certainly looks like the type of mission that we either uh, need to completely skip and accept the consequences and then stall out. But you did not come here to Saikon's channel to see me stall it out. You want to see me go toe to toe with them. Wow, the next one might be a level mission where we are losing entire squad. Okay, well, doesn't help to uh, to be afraid in, in advance. Let's first of all see what the mission does. Anyways, if you are as non-afraid as I am, uh, I can tell you you can explore an enemy unknown, which is the like button. If you scan it and hover over it and then click, it turns and uh, it will give you the thumbs up. Just saying, it's an option and it does not cost anything. Take care, guys, and see you in two days. Bye-bye.